We're delivering the sort of programme that students are going to require who are going to be tomorrow's prospective arts and cultural managers. The course covers a range of topics under the headline Arts and Cultural Management, and that means covering both the theory and the practice of managing arts and cultural institutions, from heritage and museums, fine art and curation, art, film and television production, and everything in between. And that's thinking about the wider context of cultural management, arts and cultural management more generally. What does it mean to manage culture? Not just how do you manage an arts and cultural organisation, but what are arts and cultural organisations for? I was drawn to King's for its location in the centre of what is truly a cultural capital. You've got the West End, you've got cinema, theatre and music. We collaborate with organisations like the Tate, we speak to the BBC, to Somerset House and to organisations that no other institution can. So a couple of the modules that I chose um, were cultural memory and transnational screen production which basically combines globalisation with the progression of the film industry which is what my childhood obsession was. Our students build a range of contacts and networks during their time at King's and then they can use those and take them out with them. They're really, really crucial for students then finding jobs and long-term careers in these industries. And that's something that no other university can offer in the same way.